Hey fellow Rust stations, welcome back to another video in a series on learning Rust. Uh, this is going to be the first video in a series uh, falling loosely along in uh, Tim McNamara's uh, Rust in Action, which is available from manning.com. I'll loosely base the examples in this series off of that book. I'm not going to copy the code uh, line by line, but but uh, tweak it just to give you an idea of what's going on here and just pick out um, some of the more relevant, what I think are relevant examples. Uh, so in this video, we're going to just dive in with a basic program, um, write a function, um, compile it, and run it from our terminal and see that we get output. So stick around. Let's dive into Rust. All right, so I also have an, another video series on Rustlings, which is GitHub project, which will, uh, which follows along in some, sort of a pre-programmed route to get your hands on keyboard and diving straight into Rust. So you might want to check that out. Um, this is following along in the uh, Rust in Action book loosely. And so, um, you know, do both, do all, but there is another series on Rust that you might want to check out. But right now, what I have is I have a uh, Visual Studio workspace, and I've just made this folder from my terminal, Rust in Action. Um, so I'm here. So I'm going to use essentially Linux command, Linux command touch to make first first steps rs, which is a Rust file. You can see it here. Nothing, nothing in here yet. So what we're going to do uh, is make our first. Uh, function, uh, the main function, which is just the starting point, doesn't return anything, is the the place to go in in any of Rust's uh, compiled programs. And we're gonna do like a hello world. We're gonna do um, you know let x let's say let x equals <clears throat> let x equals two, and let y and we're going to set the type, which we can do in Rust, of Y. Um, we don't have to. Rust can fig like make some inferences uh, about the type of a variable, but sometimes it gets confused, and uh, you can, you know, you as the programmer can set uh, the variable type. So let's make that three Y integer uh, thirty two. Okay, and then we are going to have a different, um, the result of another function that we'll make, which is add x, y. Uh, we'll set that to a variable c. And then we're going to use the common macro, <clears throat> macros uh, return functions, uh, which is print line. Um, so print line the string x plus y uh, is equal to, and then we will make it equal to the return value of z. All right, so our that is that is the uh, the main function. We need to write uh, the addition function now. So another function, <clears throat> and we're going to set some input here. So it's going to take, uh, let's say, i, which is an int32, and j, which is an int32, uh, into this function. And the return type for our function here is going to be also be int32. And then uh, we, in here, are going to return i plus j. Okay. And so this is the complete uh, intro Rust program that we want to write, and now we want to compile it. What we can do is um, is use the Rust compiler to make this program an executable, and then we can run it from our terminal. So um, you will to to do this, you will have had to install Rust onto your machine. There are plenty of uh, tutorials to do that. Just go to the main Rust language website and uh, you should be able to get it uh, get it working so here it's rust c rust compiler on our program first steps rs and what that will do is create um, if i do uh, ls la 
I can see that it's created uh, a little executable file for me. So um, <clears throat> if I run that for steps, uh, let's see. I think it's here. First steps. I get x plus y equals 5. And so uh, that's what we have up here. That's our little program. Um, we can add another line. Okay. By the way, if I don't put uh, an ending semicolon on here, and then I try to compile this, I'm going to hit, oh, interesting. Oh, I didn't save it. Okay. So it compiled because I saved it. And I compiled again. So let's see. Oh, okay. I guess I didn't need that semicolon at the end there. Um, so let's try to... That compiles again. Okay, so now let me do something that will definitely cause a compilation error, which is take out that comma and try to compile it. And I get this nice, um, I get a nice error, nice helpful error from Rust at compile time telling me I forgot something. So I can try to compile it again. It does, and then I can run it um, and see that I'm getting back uh, the return statement. So that's a small, basic introduction, hopefully not too uh, not too terrifying to get you into Rust. So in the next videos, we're going to speed up our development and and keep keep pushing on Rust. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Maybe you want to check out the other series on Rustlings. And we'll be back soon with more Rust.